Hey guys, my name is Josh and I'm a mechanical engineering student here at the U of T and I'm hoping to bring you along for some of the projects that I've got planned here on the uh, the Brew of T YouTube channel. And uh, today I'm making a sourdough starter which takes yeasts from the flour that you already have and makes a leavener that you can use in place of commercial uh, baker's yeast. So it's pretty cool and uh, I hope you enjoy. Alright, so let's get things started with the sourdough starter base. This is a pretty simple one, um, nothing too complicated going on, there's only two ingredients. So one of them is going to be some kind of flour, I'm going to be using all purpose for this. And then some water. Now I'm using the, uh, the water from my kettle because it's, it's sat overnight, um, which means the chlorine from the tap water has, uh, has evaporated off, which is, which is a good thing in this case. Now to this jar I'm going to add 10 grams of water and 10 grams of flour. Now throughout this video I'm going to be using measurements in weights, but I will put all of the measurements as well in volume uh, down in the description. I'm going to mix it up and then we're going to leave it uh, for, for two nights. Um, and that's to let all the yeast from the uh, uh, that's already present in the flour um, hydrate in the water and then uh, come alive. And it'll start to eat uh, the carbs in the flour and we'll get... Uh, this we're gonna get something alive so if we look in here uh, we can see gas coming up we can see bubbles which is all good stuff for our sourdough okay so now we get to start feeding it so to our starter we're going to add an equal amount of flour and an equal amount of water we're gonna wait 12 hours and our sourdough starter will start to eat all that extra flour that we gave it so we can see here that we're getting more bubbles and it's a little liquidy which is a good thing that means it needs to be fed again so this is kind of going to be an a.m. thing and a p.m. thing once in the morning and once at night for the first little while at least so you know the drill you're going to take one part water one part starter and one part flour you'll have to keep feeding it for a few weeks before it's ready to use but you'll know it's ready when you get a pretty consistent rise in between feedings so here's the fun part, now we get to bake a little. So this is a recipe for pizza dough that I found um, that uses the sourdough. I'm really going to do a little focaccia with it, but uh, maybe you can make a pizza. So we're going to start with uh, 180 grams of flour, 120 grams of water, 60 grams of starter, and 5 grams of salt as well as a, about a tablespoon of olive oil. And then along with all of those, uh, a little tip that I use is to use a little bit of yeast with it as well, a few grams, because I, I needed it to, to rise pretty quick uh, the day that I made this. So now we're going to leave it rest, uh, let it rise for, in my case, two hours or something like that, because I used yeast, but could go for much longer if you just used the sourdough. And another thing that I would recommend doing uh, that I didn't do was coating the bowl in olive oil because you'll see here that uh, it, it all looks good, pretty inflated, but this is going to be a bit of a pain to get out. Uh, as you can see, I stick my hand in there, and I can't get a lot of grip. But that's okay. Turned out pretty well. Next, I'll coat the dough pretty well in olive oil, if you haven't already done that, and drop it into a pan that I've had preheating in my oven uh, at about 450 degrees for enough time to get pretty well and hot. Next up, put some salt on it, or other toppings if... Uh, if you're making pizza and throw that in an oven until it's nice and brown. Mine took about 20 minutes but yours might be a little different. And there you go. Something to try with the sourdough starter if you try it. If you don't want to feed it for a while uh, you can always put it in the fridge. The lower temperature will slow down the fermentation. If you want more information on keeping your starter or the dough recipe I used check out the links in the description. If you end up trying it, give us a shout. I'd love to hear how it went. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you again next time.